We're here with Hermitage Green on the Showbiz Minute. My first question, guys, is it true that you just ended up forming as a band after a jam session at a party? Is that actually true? That is actually true, yeah. You weren't even there, man. I wasn't even there. <laughs> I didn't exist then. Yeah, we did. It was, it was just actually one night out. Dan and I were our brothers, and we were on a night out walking through Limerick, and we met Dara, who's friends with Dan. Okay. And then Dara and I met, and we were friends for years, and we went for a few pints and said we'd play a few tunes on a Monday night. And yeah. That's how it started. And then you headhunted you. Dermot. Yeah. yeah. Dermot. <laughs> all the Ds, you're all Ds. Baronplayers.com. Give yeah. number 37. Oh, okay. <laughs> Give us the only Shake available artist. Yeah, yeah, we shake them really them. <laughs> and you guys all play lots of different instruments. Did you have to learn that for the band or did you already, you're already... Uh, kind of a bit of both, I think. Yeah. Poor Tara's had a hard couple of months where we're like, we, <laughs> we, we wrote a, obviously a batch of new songs for the, the new EP and there was like synth parts and there was didgeridoo on one track and by the time we got around to doing it live, we were like, okay, I'm playing guitar for this, so Tara, with two drummers, so sometimes it's like, Dara, you want to leave off the drums for this one, you play didgeridoo, or okay. take up synth, so he's got the short straw. He's had a lot of nice. homework for the last few months. You know. <laughs> so you have to be a master of many instruments. I wouldn't say master now, it's <laughs> pretty much whatever is in the song, I know, don't ask him to do anything else. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. And you only play one note on a didgeridoo. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy knowing you know how, but if you don't, it's not, so yeah, sounds sure. good to me. Uh, you guys are playing the Opera House tonight. And I've also read that he often show up in gate crash parties and things like that. Is that true? Will you be gate crashing anywhere in Cork tonight? Yeah, we love Cork. We've always had wild enough nights in Cork. So um, yeah, we will see what happens. Yeah. I think our last gig in Cork was in the St. Luke's Church, and it was one of my favourite gigs because you can't. There's no drinks. So you have to bring your own yeah. drink. So. Um, before the gig, someone told me that a lot of people didn't know that. So we went across to the off license and brought a load of cans on stage, yeah. and a bottle of whiskey, and we put it all on stage. And we're like, to everyone, work away. But yeah. everyone was sitting in the, the pews, just kind of awkward, and no one wanted to be the first one. And during the first song, I could just see my mother walking up the aisle, <laughs> and took the first can and took the first bottle of whiskey. Like holy community. <laughs> <laughs> then an orderly queue went behind her of Cork people, and. Uh, that just kind of set the tone for what was a pretty wild night, so okay. anything can happen basically. You didn't great gate crash someone's party in DCU or... Might have. Yeah? yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you just walk around with your instruments all the time, just yeah. randomly popping into people's hard, parties? Hard to remember yeah. which party you crashed and don't crash, to be honest. <laughs> That's what social media is good yeah. for. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and you guys are off to Australia now when you were saying Dubai, all those places yeah, next. Yeah, we've got a busy couple of weeks lined up for leaving for the Middle East next week. Um, Dubai, Abu Dhabi and Singapore on the way out and then we've got two days off so we're going to Java to uh, acclimatise to the jet lag I suppose yeah. and then we're on to Australia the following week so that's the first week in yeah. November. So you've done so much already and you've been to so many countries I like to ask bands what's the goal how do you know you are where you want to be what's the dream where will you go okay we've made it guys that's it We've peaked. Someone said something uh, <laughs> I think you're looking at that for years and years, right? When we started out, if you told us we'd be in Cork's 96 FM on a day oh, like well. today, we'd have said, brilliant, that's unbelievable. But now that you're here, you're always trying to push for something yeah. else. So, I mean, getting signed was a big deal. Getting, like, we had albums that went number one and stuff. Yeah. That's a huge deal. But as soon as you get to there, the goal just becomes something else. Yeah. It's like you're constantly going to push for it. So it's yeah. an unanswerable question is my answer to that question. Uh, <laughs> what is your goal now? Space. I want to live in Mars. Okay. <laughs> First life you can Musk is bringing us to Mars. <laughs> First band to play yeah. in Mars. There okay. we go. You yeah. heard it here at Hermitage Green, live in that space. that where <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Best of luck tonight and with your tour. Thank, Thank you. Thanks, Thanks. Cork, Cork, 96 FM. Hashtag, we are Cork.